For static screens, creating fancy 3D mockups is as easy as downloading a template. But what if your screens include animations or even videos? Today I'm going to show you how I created these two video mockups using Adobe XD, Photoshop, and Premiere Pro. It's not the simplest process, but I promise if you follow along, you'll be able to create this in no time. But first, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Maddie. I'm a product designer currently working at a tech startup, and here on YouTube, I make videos about design and productivity. Make sure to hit subscribe if you wanna see videos from me every single week, and without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So for the scrolling example, what I wanna do is create that whole animation in XD and then export that. So in order to create something that looks like it's scrolling, what I like to do is start with like a super long feed like this. So I've just designed this out and I've made sure that we come back to the beginning. So if you can see the first three, um, pieces of content here. If you remember what those look like, they also appear at the end. And that is so that we can create sort of a looping animation. So we'll start off in this position and then I'm just duplicating that artboard and dragging this whole group up and we'll maybe position it like here. And then I'm just going to keep doing that. And then the last one should go back to the beginning. So let's see if we can do that. When I say the beginning, it has to be exact. So we can see that this starts off 119 pixels above the top. So that is easy. We're just going to line this up so it's at the top and then I'm going to nudge it up 119 pixels. Okay, and now we're going to go into prototype mode and just wire these up. So I think what we're going to do is probably like a 0.2 second delay and the actual scrolling should last two full seconds. So let's do that. And then once we go back to the beginning, we want this to have no animation at all. So what we do is zero delay, transition, and then animation none. Then it will just look like a looping animation. So let's preview that so that you can see. Yeah, that's looking good. And you can adjust the speed and the delay however you want if you're doing something like this, but this is good for now. And so now what I'm going to do is record this prototype. So I'm just going to hit the record button right here and just let it play through at least one or two times. Okay, so then I just saved this into the folder I'm using for this project. And if you want, you can go in and trim it to be one exact loop, or you can leave it for now and you can always trim it whenever we're putting this video together in the mockup. Okay, that's one down. Now let's move on to this next one. So as a refresher, this is what I want the final video to look like with these two videos overlaid on top of each other. But the kicker here is that I also want this sort of timed bar to fill up um, while the video is playing to show you know, how long it is and how much of the video is left to play. So in order to create this background animation, what I have done is created a few other artboards. And the only difference between these is that this bar is filling up a bit more each time. And the reason that I had to do it twice is because in XD, an animation can only last up to five seconds, but I want this to be a full 10 seconds. I don't want it to fill up really quick, right? So we're gonna go into prototype mode and same thing, we're just going to set a time trigger, auto animate, and we want it to take five seconds and we don't need any easing because it's really just like a steady movement. So then I'm going to do that again, except this time there should be no delay here and then it will stop. So let's check out how that looks. Okay, here, as you can see, the bar is slowly filling up, which is exactly what we wanted. So now I'm gonna start that over and go ahead and record this one too, so that then we can bring it into Premiere. 
All right, the next thing you wanna do is choose the mock-up that you're going to be using. I have one linked below, which is the one I'm using in this tutorial, but you can probably find some free ones online too. What you're going to do is open up that mock-up in Photoshop and add a green background. Use the brightest green that you can, something that looks about like this, and then just save it as a PNG. Okay, so once you open up a new project in Premiere, you're just gonna add all of the assets that you need. So. What I have in here is those two screen videos that we just recorded from XD. I have my two mock-ups that I'm gonna be using. And of course, depending on how many videos you're creating, you can just use one mock-up or you can use different ones. It's totally up to you. And then I also have the videos that I'm going to be overlaying. This one's going to be the face video over top and this is going to be the background video. That scrolling video is pretty much good to go until we're ready to put it in the mock-up. But on the other hand, this skeleton video that we have here um, still needs to have content added to it before it's actually a finished screen video. Right now, it's really just like a skeleton. So that's what we're going to tackle first. So I've just added that in here to my timeline. Let's do the bottom layer first, so this background video. So I'm just going to grab this video and put it on top and as you can see it's super long so i'm just going to trim it and then i'm going to go into my effect controls and see if i can line it up to this square and so it's looking okay so far but of course if we hide this we can see that these corners are supposed to be rounded and we want this loading bar to be on top of it. So what we wanna to do to fix this is create a mask. And the way that you do this is you want the mask to be white and everything else around it to be transparent. So I thought an easy way to do this would be in XD. So I just created an artboard that is the exact size of my video frame here. And then I placed this mask exactly where it's going to go in the frame. And I cut out, if you can see here, this circle so that the mask now is just this white part and it's not going to include this part where you want to have the loading circle go. So this is my mask because I want the video to show through to this white part. And so I just go ahead and export that. And once I export it and add it into my project folder, then I can put it right on top of here. And so now, as you can see, it's in the perfect position, but nothings it's not really masking anything. I named it mask, but you have to do something a bit more than that. So we're going to go into the effects tab and we're going to find the track matte key effect. And we're going to drag that right into the video that we want to mask. So not the mask, but the video you want to mask. Then you're going to come over to your effect controls and we want to set the mat to video three or whatever layer that your mask is in. So then as you can see, it is a little small. So we're just going to increase the size and the position and make sure that this is good to go. Okay, perfect. So now, as you can see, if we play through, the video is only playing inside that mask. Now we can layer our talking face video on top of that. So I'm just going to select the portion of this that I want. So I'm gonna hit the I key for in, I'm just going to scrub forward a bit and then hit O. And I'm just going to drag the video, I don't need the audio. And so now what we wanna do is similar to what we did before, but we don't need a custom mask. It's a really simple shape. The only mask we need is a circle. So what I'm going to do is first make her face about as big as I'm going to want it and positioned about where I want it positioned. And of course we're going to be able to fix that later. But then I'm gonna go in again to our effect controls. Under opacity, I'm going to hit this create ellipse mask. And so then as you can see, now we have her face in this circle. And so now I'm just going to position it exactly how I want. 
Yeah, and that's looking really good. It might be a little bit close up on her face, so if I wanted to make her video smaller, I just tap on that and we're going to scale it down a bit. And then all I have to do is expand the mask. So I'm gonna go into mask expansion and I am just going to make that a bit bigger. And automatically there is a 10 pixel, I guess, feather on here. So I'm going to remove that so that it's a nice sharp edge. This is looking really good. So if we play through, now I think her face is an appropriate size and the video is playing through nicely and everything is layered exactly how we want it. So now that we have this screen video ready for the mock-up, we can go ahead and export it. So I'm just going to go up to file, export media, and I can turn off audio and I can name it whatever I want and I'll just save it back to that same folder that I'm working out of for this project. Okay, so now we can move on to the last step, which is actually putting these in those 3D mockups. So go ahead and create a new Premiere Pro project and make sure you have handy the mockups that you're going to need, as well as the two screen videos that we just created. So I'm going to drag in one of these mockups. Since it's a PNG, I am going to go into graphics, new layer, rectangle, and I am going to add a background color. I'm going to move it to the bottom layer. I'm gonna go into this shape and give it a color. I think I wanna give it this like dark blue color. So now that we have that, we can add our screens on top and we can finally uh, kind of key these out so that they look really realistic. So let's start with the scrolling one. It is of course not the right size or orientation at all. You can like rotate this all you want, but it's never gonna look 3D unless you use something called pin corners. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So first I'm gonna make it just a bit bigger and I am going to rotate it a bit just to get it like as close as possible. And then we're going to go into our effects panel and we're gonna find corner pin and we'll just add that to this layer. And then if you have this clip selected, you'll go over and you can see that we have a corner pin. And so then what we can do is select on that and that's going to give us these corners here. And make sure that you have your like render on the lowest one because this is going to try to render it as you do it. And you don't need it to look high def as you're getting this, you know, kind of perfect. Um, and so it'll be really laggy if you try to do this at full percent. So anyway, now I'm going to go in and align these corners perfectly. Okay, now I have this aligned, but as it is right now, it's just sort of sitting on top here. So now what I wanna do is actually put the mock-up on top of it now that we've got it all lined up and we can key out this green. I am again gonna go into our effects and I'm going to look for ultra key and I'm going to add that to this um, iPhone mockup. Then once we do that, we can come over to where it says key color. We can grab the eyedropper and we can select that green and then it's gonna key out everything that is green and show through what's below it. And now what's awesome is we can actually duplicate this for the other video that we're creating. So if you just control click on the screen video that you wanna replace, you can do replace with clip from bin and you'll just click on this one. And so now, as you can see, this same exact process works perfectly with this one too. And it's going to take a while to render, but I'll put the final product up on the screen right here. I really hope that this was helpful and that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It might seem a little bit complicated, but stick with it. You can rewatch sections if you need to, and I promise that you'll get it. And then you'll be able to create mock-ups like this for all of your projects. If you like this video, you'll also probably like the custom playlist that includes all of my most popular tutorials 
tutorials. So that will be linked below. You can check that out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and I will see you guys in a future video. Bye.